Hello, this is the seated mobility class um, that I've recorded today. All we're going to do today is some lower leg strength in the chair. So make sure you've got a nice sturdy chair ready, one that doesn't move about. So make sure it's nice and safe and make sure you've got plenty of room around you. Okay, so let's have a sit in the seat first. If you've got a resistance band, grab your resistance band, that would be great. Yeah, so you're going to sit in the chair, shuffle forwards in the chair towards the end of the chair, feet about a shoulder width apart, back's nice and straight. So lifting our chest up, ribs away from hips, sitting up nice and tall. Here, get nice and comfortable. Then all we're gonna do is start marching on the spot, just nice and slowly, just lifting the feet off the floor while keeping that nice, good posture. Excellent, good. Keeping those feet moving. And all we're gonna do then is try and lift those heels up a little bit higher while pushing your toes down into the floor. That's good, keep that going for me. Keep that back nice and straight. So we're just working on our leg muscles today in this video, so if you need a rest at any point, take a rest, okay? Excellent, remember this is pre-recorded, so if you want to rest, you just press the pause button. Excellent, all we're gonna do now is just little toe taps, one leg at a time, pushing the toes down into the floor. That's it, keep it going. Just to keep moving. Tap it with the toes. Remember to keep that back nice and straight. Good, excellent. Pushing those toes down at the floor. Tap in forwards. That's good. Three, two, one. Little march on the spot. Again, try not to just lift the knees up. Try and think of that ankle joint moves. So lifting the heels up, almost like a pedaling action. That's it, good posture, keep you going. Three, two, and one. Sliding the feet forwards then. All we're gonna do is just lifting the toes up, pause, and slowly down. So in your own time then, take your time. Bringing those toes up, pause, slowly down. Excellent, good. A couple more. Three, two, and one. Back to that little march in the spot. So think like that, sort of like pedaling action. So pushing the toes down at the floor, lifting the heels up. Good, okay, keep an eye out for that posture, keep that back nice and straight. Excellent, good. Good, now we're gonna bring the arms into play. So swing the arms forwards and back. Keep the bend in the elbow. Imagine you're jogging in slow motion. Good, slow it right down. Think of the range of movement in the shoulders. Excellent. Three, two, one. Stretch those arms out as far as you can. Keep the feet moving. Interlock the hands. Row in back. Bring the elbow right back. Reach forward. So the arms are off here. A little bit lower. In line with your chest. Pull back. Reach forwards. So it's almost like a push and pull action. So you push and pull. Get that elbow right back. Keeping those feet moving. Ask you a few more of these in your own time. Go at your own pace. Try and think of the range of movement. Nice smooth action. Ask it. Three, two, and one, hands on the knees, sitting still again. Just take a little break, relax those shoulders. If you've got sides of your chair, push yourself up, make yourself nice and tall. Excellent, good. All we can do is slide the heels back, both together, and just bring in those heels up, pause, and slowly down in your own time. Working those calf muscles. Fantastic, keep you going. Three, two, 
and one, back to march again, good, good, arm swinging again, let's go, so remember we're not looking for speed, we're looking for a big range of movement, elbow back, arm forward, that's good, keep me going, keep those feet moving, three, two, and one, back to hands on the knees, and march it out, good, shuffle forwards towards the end of the seat if you need to, and we do this by hip walking forwards, make sure your bottom's nice and secure on the chair, and from there back straight, dig the heel into the floor, return back to the centre, let's keep that going, stretch the leg out, can add the arms as well if you want to, let's try it, opposite arm to the leg, stretch the arm out, stretch the leg out, keep that going, fantastic, a few more, three, two, and one, good, back to that march, keep my hands on the knees, this time both shoulders come up, squeeze at the top, then very slowly down, just don't let the shoulders just drop, bring them up towards the ears, pause and slowly control down, good, keep doing that in your own time, off you go, slowly down remember, good, a few more, pause at the top, slowly down, fantastic, keep those feet moving, Keep that back nice and straight, good, good, and slow the marching down for a second, arms come across the chest, chest lifted, all we're going to do is only a small movement so don't force it, we slowly twist one way, then return to the centre, so this shouldn't feel uncomfortable, you're doing it nice and slowly one way, then to the centre, so I don't need force in the turn, only go as far as you feel comfortable, then back to the centre. Last couple. Good. Excellent. Then pause in the middle. So with the arms across your body, we're going to do our side bends a little bit different. Keep the back straight. I'll show you first. So drop the elbow down, then to the centre. So it's not a big range of movement, just a small one. Keep that bottom firmly on the seat. As you tilt, the bottom doesn't come up, it keeps on the chair. So slight bend the elbow, center, drop the elbow, center, in your own time, only a small movement. Good. Last couple, two, and one. Back's nice and straight, then drop the arms the side bends this way. If you find this difficult, go back to the crossed arm version. So imagine now you're reaching for something, you grab it, bring it back to the center. Don't force it, nice and controlled. Three, two, and one. Good, back to that march. Arms, legs moving, keep it going. Nice big posture, nice big range of movement, keep it going, fantastic, good, keep it going, a few more, really get those arms moving now, and if you can, try and lift those knees up a little bit higher, that's good, last few seconds, three, two, and one, and rest, feet back on the floor. So like I said at the top of the video then, we are working mostly our leg muscles today. Good, so you're going to shuffle forwards in the seat. And all I want you to do is just lift your foot a few inches off the floor, if that, you know, just a small amount. Stretching the leg out, pause, bring it back in, and down. Lift the knee up, stretch the leg out, pause, in and down, so you carry on with that in your own time, just nice and slow, as you stretch the leg out, feel the tension on the front of the thigh, 
Ah, good. Keep it going. So we're working the front of the legs. Keep it going. Try and pause for a little bit longer each time. You shouldn't be feeling this on the knee. You should be feeling the front of the thigh muscles there. That's it. Keep that back nice and straight. Excellent. Good. If your legs start to get tired, stop and have a rest. Excellent. Last couple. Stretch the leg out. Ah, that's good. Back's nice and straight again. A little march in the spot. And from there, you're rolling the shoulders up and over. So as they come over, open the chest up. Keeping the feet moving, open the chest up, nice big deep breaths. In your own time then. Try and squeeze the shoulder blades together as the arms come around. That's good. Three, two, and one. Little marching out. Good, keep the marching going. Good, rest for a second. Now we're gonna sit back in the seat. Relax back into the seat. I'm gonna stretch one leg out. Leg is straight, working on the ankle joint. So push the toes forwards, pull the toes back. In your own time. Good, nice and controlled. Excellent, good. Push forwards, pull back. Brilliant, place that leg down, rest. Then the same on the other side when you're ready, lifting the leg up. Push the toes forwards, pull the toes back. In your own time. So you feel the ankle joint moving. When you pull back, you should feel that calf muscle stretch. Just explore, explore the range of movement you can do it with. That's good, a few more. Excellent, place the foot down and shuffle forward back in the seat again. And march it out on the spot. Lifting those knees up. Good. Rolling the shoulders up and over. A little bit faster this time. Keep it going. Three, two, and one. Hands on the knees. So all we're going to do this time is slide the heels back, lift up on your heels, so you're on your toes, push down, slide forwards, pull the toes back. Just sliding back and forth, make sure you're nice and secure in that seat. You're using the carpet or rug or whatever, that's creating a bit of resistance there then. So toes down. Heels. Keep it going. Lift the toes up. Slide back. Lift the heels up. In your own time when you're ready. Keep that going. Last couple. Two. And one. Back to a march in the spot again then. March it out. Arms and legs moving. Fantastic. So next we're going to work the backs of our legs. So in a seated position, let's sit up nice and tall now, sitting towards the end of the seat. So one leg is bent, the other leg is, is going to slide out in front of you and slide back as far as you can. Try and keep that foot flat on the floor. If you feel the back of the leg there, you should feel those hamstring muscles working. So slide forwards, slide back. As you're sliding back, keep pushing that heel down the floor. That's it. You might want to stop and have a rest if you feel again tight in the back of your leg. That's good. Last couple. Really push that heel down the floor as you slide the leg back. Good. Then the same on the other leg then. So one leg is bent, the other one is straight. So I'm going to slide the foot forwards, 
pulling back. So remember to keep that, keep that friction going, keep that foot flat on the floor. The more you push that heel down at the floor, the more you feel that hamstring muscle work. But remember, if the get, muscles get too tight, stop and have a rest. That's good, keep it going a few more. Should feel the backs of the legs working. Three, two, and one. Good. And march on the spot again. Arms, legs moving. Keep it going. Good. Excellent. So press pause now if you want to. What we're going to do next is going to use your resistance band. So if you've got a resistance band, go and grab that now. Don't worry if you haven't got a resistance band, we can just do the leg action, okay? Excellent, so I'll give you a second to get the band, or you can press pause. I've got to find my band as well. So grabbing your band, having to sit down on the seat, and with the band then, you place it around your legs. So you can do the out to five first. And then hold on to the band in the middle, Feet are quite close together and focus on pushing those knees upwards, keeping our back nice and straight, pushing outwards, pause and slowly back in. So what we're going to do, we're going to do 12 of these. So what I want you to do in your own time is do 12. Once you've done the 12, stop and have a rest, okay? Keep that back nice and straight. Try not to let the knees crush together. Keep that nice range of movement. If you start to feel in your hips, don't take it out so wide. So remember, we're just doing 12, so if you're keeping the count, when you get to 12, stop and have a rest. Taking your time. And if I move on to the next exercise and you haven't done the 12, you can always press pause. Good, and if your legs are too tired, by all means take a rest. Excellent, and march in the spot when you're ready. Just a little march in the spot, keep the band where it is, in the seated position. All we're gonna do is lift the knee up, slowly down. See the band is a bit of resistance there, look. And again, do 12 all together of these. So one, two, and so on. So off you go when you're ready. As soon as you've done 12, stop and take a rest. So the higher you lift that knee up, the more resistance in that band. Try and keep your back straight as well. Can you go in? Last couple left then. Good. And march it out. Fantastic. Take your tail to break if you need one. Otherwise, we unravel the band. And just watch me next while I show you the next exercise. Like I said, it's all legs today. So if your legs are getting tired, by all means, stop and have a rest. Okay, so you got your band, you place the band flat on the floor. Remember not to place the band over there, keep it somewhere in the middle. Pull the band and the band wraps around your foot then, okay? Then you're holding the band in line with the knees. The further down the band you hold it, the more resistance. So start off with your hands in line with the knee. All we're going to do is lift the foot off the floor. Stretching the leg out in front of you, pushing the toes down into the floor and back up. Again, so we're going to do 12 of these. Once you've done 12, stop and take a rest. Off you go when you're ready, then. Pushing those toes down to the floor, keeping an eye on that band. Make sure that band doesn't flick up at you. 
you might want to adjust the band now and again to make sure it's nice and secure and nice and safe and keep your back nice and straight as well. done 12 start moving on to the next leg exactly the same then so once you've done 12 on that leg exactly the same on the other so remember you don't have to go at my pace if I move too quickly again you can always press the pause button placing the band on the floor the band wraps around your foot that's the most important part as well make sure that band's nice and secure hands in line with your knees lifting the knee up pushing those toes down at the floor. So in your own time then, 12 of these, nice and slow, nice and controlled. If I start moving on to the next exercise and you haven't done your reps, you can always press pause. Good, nice, good range of movement. Try not to hold your breath. With these resist resistance bands, as the resistance increases as you push, sometimes it's so easy to hold your breath. So remember to breathe, it always helps. Last couple then. Three, two, and one. Brilliant stuff. Bring the band back on your lap, and then march it out. Good, good. Excellent. So holding the band in your hands, holding nice and secure. Let's march you out. Good. To stretch those legs out again, do heel digs. Stretch them out at your own pace. Excellent. Three, two, and one. March you out. Good. So if you grab your band, or if you haven't got a band, grab a cushion. What we're gonna do is the inner thigh muscles. So roll the band up in some of the sort of room that resembles a ball really. Place it in between your knees. Squeeze together, pause, and relax. Hold through two seconds, pause, and relax. Again, as you pause and you squeeze, try not to hold your breath. That's good. And again, we're going to do 12 of these. Nice and slow. Nice and controlled. So as you only 12, just march it in place. Good. Keep it going. Squeeze and relax. A couple more. Squeeze and relax. Fantastic. And march it up again. March it on the spot. Good. So you put your band then. We finished with the band for today. So place the band nice and safely out of the way. I'm just going to put mine. Remember where you put the band. You don't want to trip over that later. March on the spot then. Good. Roll the shoulders up and over. Three, two, and one. We're going to shuffle forwards in the seat. Last exercise, now all we're going to do is the legs go out to the diagonal. So out to the side, back in. Out to the side, back in. So don't force it. Nice gentle movement. Let's go, keep it going. Good, so we've been sat down today doing a lot of leg exercises. So when you do get out of the chair, take your time getting up because your legs might be a little bit tired, might be a little bit wobbly, so be very careful when you do stand up, take any time to stand out of the chair, stand still for the second, then move, okay? So just be very careful. We've worked our legs quite hard today. Just be careful as you're standing up out of the chair, you can move away later. Last couple then. Three, two, and one, march it out. 
shoulders down and relax then good and then stretch off those legs so dig the heel into the floor the toes are pointing up towards the ceiling hands are on the hips one leg is bent very important leaning forwards very slowly from the hips and keep looking straight ahead make sure this seat's nice and secure feel the stretch in the back of the leg hold it steady and back up changing legs same on the other side digging the heel into the floor as you lean forward make sure that chair is nice and secure leaning forwards from the hips feel the stretch in the back of the leg Good, and march it out. Good, some slow heel raises now. So hands on the knees, bring those heels up, pause for a few seconds, slowly down. In your own time, pause for a few seconds, slowly down. Last one, and slowly down. Shuffle back in the seat then, relax back in the seat to finish off. One leg up and just slowly circle the ankle. Nice and slowly one way and then the other. Excellent. Same on the other leg. Slowly circle one way. Good. And then the other. Brilliant. And relax. Little march in place. Good. Hope you're feeling okay. Remember what I said now that. When you do decide to stand, stand up of your chair. Because we've done a lot of leg exercise today, be careful standing up. So when you st stood up, get your bearings first and then move away. Otherwise, your legs might be a little bit jelly-like and we don't want you any trips or falls. Okay, so standing up, see how the legs feel and then move away. All right, so hope you're okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Take care.